So for the last eight years in a row, Kai and I have been going on these trips. So last year, me and Mike went on the road trip through the Alps. It's kind of a dream trip for me. This year, we decided to invite along Swedish super skier Henrik Winstead. So how the hell did we end up here? We, we've kind of dubbed ourselves the Good Times Crew. Yeah, every year, Mike calls me up and said, it's time for a Good Times Crew to get together. No matter where we go or what we do or the conditions we get, uh, the crew that we have, we always seem to have a good time. Yeah, and this year we decided it's time for Italy and Cortina. It's right in the heart of the Dolomite Mountains. It's just these giant rock spires everywhere. And when we first rolled into town, it was snowing pretty hard. And as the trip went on, the snow kind of backed off. And then we, we got some broken clouds and, and the weather started to clear. And, and all of a sudden you could see these peaks just jutting out of the clouds, these super impressive mountains. Let me out of this cage before I swell up with rage. Let me sing to old age before I'm done. Let me shout to the skies that I'm too young to die. And that fate will never stop me. Whenever possible, we try to bring another person along to add a little bit of spice to the group. So this year, we took the young Swiss guy, Nico Vunier. It was great to bring in a young character with a little bit different style from ourselves. Find the found the dream and lift those ties unbound. I I was a bit scared that we were, we were going to do some touring, uh, just some old guy stuff. Oi, oi, oi. That was maybe a little bit too crazy. But uh, no, I was actually pretty excited to go ski with the Kai and Mike. Getting to go to Italy, Cortina, was perfect. Let me out of this cage for us. Nico wants to jump. He's he's kind of looking at the mountain from like a new school perspective. So we ended up building some jumps, which is something that we haven't done for for a long, long time. And and it was so cool because Nico was obviously throwing down, but to see Kai get in there, Kai was just setting it, and I was really surprised that he, he could hit it. <laughs> it was just super fun. I enjoyed it so much and uh, learned something new. You know, the old boy, the old boy still got it. Well, one thing that I've always wanted to do since I was a kid was ski a big Dolomiti couloir. And so we found this one up on Tofana here. You couldn't see from top to bottom in the couloir, so we decided to ski it in uh, three steps. I think we were all nervous. We had the adrenaline flow, but Nico was especially nervous. I don't think he'd ever done anything like this. Oh, it's scary, man. Snow is really difficult up there. Because I thought it would be pretty mellow and chill would be just like a slope with two walls next to it, but actually it was a bit more. <laughs> you know, once it started to open up and you, you could let it go, it's just this feeling of, of so much stoke. It was just rushing through my body because I was so tense. The snow was so bad in the beginning. Signature slasher. <laughs> Skiing powder and jumping down there. The good times jumping down the mountain. Oh, it was just rushing through me, it was great. Yeah, it was a great feeling. It was really a great experience. Okay. 
it was kind of my first real Cold War and getting to do it with Mike and Kai, that was awesome. <laughs> so dope! <dumb. laughs> that was great, huh? You could tell when he first met us that he was a little bit nervous about being out there with these 40-something-year-old guys. But over time, I think Nico realized that we want to have fun just as much as he does and, and get out there and, and do goofy things in the mountains. Respect because they're still shredding hard. And I wonder if I would be like this when, I'm, when I'll be 40. I know when we go on uh, these trips, it's gonna be the best couple of weeks of the winter. Some years we get lucky with snow, some years we don't, but one thing we always have is a good time.